For eight years, he lived with the Afridi tribe. The Afridis have a long history as great warriors, known for their fighting ability and tenacity in the mountains. On one occasion, a rival tribe kidnapped him and held him hostage for six months, although they called him an honoured guest. He was given one book to read, the Quran. It sharpened his desire to learn more about the religion. When the tribe let their guest go, he headed off to India, and to what's known as the Mecca of Islamic studies in Asia, a religious school, or madrasa, called the Rululum Deoband. It's about four hours' drive north of the Indian capital, Delhi. He said it's the next standing on the left. John, would you describe Deoband as a conservative school? Yeah, yeah, Deoband is definitely uh, conservative and traditional. So it's been very slow to take on board sort of contemporary subjects, you know, history, geography, the mathematics, science, these things. It hasn't really taken them on board at all. It's still a purely institute of religious learning. But it's, you know, quite, quite Puritan. So, for a young man who'd studied at a Jesuit school in the north of England, so it was it pure... It like a glove. <laughs> the hippie turned into a Talib. In the West, Talib has negative connotations and is associated with the Taliban, but the word Talib literally means religious student. Talib John Butt stayed in Darulalum Deoband for five years. Home was a tiny windowless cell. He lived under a strict regime of prayer and study. He was, and remains to this day, the only Westerner ever to graduate from there as an imam, a qualified Islamic scholar. These days, critics accuse Deobandi teachings of becoming intolerant and hardline. And in neighbouring Pakistan and in Afghanistan, this newer ideology has been accused of helping to fuel Islamist militancy. Deoband, in some circles, has a sort of bad name and is viewed with suspicion. And that does hurt me, because to me, it, Deobandism means, you know, very much, you know, the motto which I always uh, learnt from my Deobandi teachers was Apni mazab choro mat, dusi ke mazab chero mat. Stick to your own religion, but don't bother other people because of their religion. You can say live and let live in a religious sense.